Good afternoon, class of 2022. I'm here to help you figure out what to sign up for as your science course next year. Our school district requires 30 credit hours of science to graduate. Many colleges would also like to see at least 30 credit hours of science for admission. We have 100 credit hours of science available, so it's very important to plan ahead. Think about what you want to take to prepare yourself for your future goals. These goals may change, so consider taking different types of science courses throughout your four years of high school. Some science courses help build a foundation for future science courses. Sometimes a science course requires certain math skills to help you be successful. You can always chat with a science teacher at the high school if you have questions about what you will learn in different science classes. The new district science graduation requirements are designed to raise the level of science literacy for our students by requiring at least five credit hours of each of the core sciences. This includes a minimum of a semester of chemistry, physics, biology, and environmental science. This then leaves 10 credits to fill in a variety of ways depending on a student's needs and interests. The following diagram is not a strict flowchart because there are multiple pathways you can take during your science career. The shaded courses are semester classes. All freshmen will enroll in pre-AP biology this next year. Sophomores through seniors should work on a four-year plan that combines either semester courses, year-long courses, or a combination of both. So physics courses next year will be a semester conceptual physics, year-long AP Physics 1, and a year-long AP Physics C. Chemistry courses will include a semester course of conceptual chemistry, a year-long chemistry course, and a year-long AP Chemistry course. Life science courses include a year of pre-AP biology or a year of AP biology. Environmental courses include a semester introduction to environmental science and AP environmental science. Science elective courses have in the past included river watch and forensics. Check your most recent course guide to see if all of these courses are offered this following year. For the class of 2022, depending on what you took this year will influence what you take next year. If you took two semesters of biology this year, the next year you should consider taking courses to fulfill the physics, chemistry, or environmental science course requirements. If you took a combination of space, environmental, or phys chem this year, the next year you should consider taking the pre-AP biology course. If you took a combination of courses, we strongly recommend you talk to a science teacher to help guide your course choices for next year and this will be based on a four-year plan. For students who took Math 2 this year, you might consider doubling up in science. This is usually for students who hope to take lots of science during their high school career. Again, feel free to chat with a science teacher for a little guidance. Remember, you are planning for more than next year, so your four-year plan is very important to make sure you are prepared to graduate and pursue a variety of opportunities after high school. Taking a class in high school before you have to take it in college is always a good idea. Knowing what different careers and majors require is also a good piece of information when trying to figure out what best science course to take. For some of you who are not sure what your future might hold, taking a variety of science courses will open up doors for you and give you a better idea of how those fields differ from each other. Please feel free to ask myself, Mrs. Floor, or Mr. Nykirk, Mr. Norville, Ms. Wilson, Mr. Silcox, Mrs. Berge, or Mr. Walmsley for some advice if you are not sure which pathway through science will work best for you. See you in the lab.